Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Wow. If you can hear me, okay, just give me a one in the chat. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. One, 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 one. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, good, 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 good. So how is everybody doing? It's a beautiful day here in Connecticut. Um, I don't know. I don't know where you are. Just let me know where you are zooming in from. I'm zooming in from Connecticut. Um, how about you? Okay, I see two more Connecticut here. Wow, that's good. Two Connecticut, New York. Okay. Canada, Massachusetts. Wow, that's great. Mm. That's where I also attend school. So um, Massachusetts is another, the second home. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Ohio. Boston, okay, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is good. That is good. That is interesting. That is good. So I want to welcome you all to today's uh, session. Um, we are going to start to learn how to build an online business. I believe this is a topic that we've heard over and over and over. People talk about you yourself, you've heard it, you've tried it, I guess, I assume. But some of you too, it might be new. It might be new. Somebody said, um, I haven't tried it before. This is the new uh, first time I'm going to try it. Somebody is saying that um, I've tried it before, but it didn't work. Somebody said, I don't know what I'm doing. It means the person is doing something, but he doesn't know what he's doing. That's all good. That's all good. And I'm happy that um, we are here today to look at it again. You know, having an online business is, is a good thing. It's a good thing. But as um, you will know, it's not something that um, is easy or um, it's something you can just joke around with. So, um, our own president said, believe you can, and you are halfway there. And so I believe that once you are here, you have the mentality and the ability or the willingness um, to start and to succeed. So once again, I want to welcome you. And um, I would like to introduce myself to you, and then you also introduce yourself to me. Um, this is a community we are building. So my name is Frank, and I'm originally from Ghana. I don't know if anybody has heard Ghana. If you've heard Ghana before, just give me a one. If you've heard Ghana before, give me a one. Um, if you've not heard about it, that's OK. That's OK. Oh, good, good. One, 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 one. OK. Oh, wow. Wow. That, that, that's good to hear. And also, I've been in, I've been living in America for around ten years now. Yeah, ten years now. And um, my background is in business and law, and also I'm a, I'm a person of faith. So I'm also in um, a school right now, doing my graduate work in theology. So I'm in Boston uh, University. Yeah. So Massachusetts, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. So that's a little bit about me. I've been doing this um, online business for a while. Um, when I say a while, I think um, it's been a while. It's been a while. I remember when I started online, online stuff was when 
Bitcoin was one cent when it was introduced and it was one cent per coin. Yeah, I know what you are thinking about. <laughs> yeah, but those days, I didn't take it serious. You know, I didn't take it serious. And today, look at where Bitcoin is. You know, so if you are starting now, I think it's a good thing. And I believe you are going to take it serious and then move on with it. So that is a, a little bit about me. Um, I love what I do. I love what I do. When I'm on a computer, mm, I, I can I can be on a computer without eating, without doing anything. And I'm most of the time on the computer because I, I love interacting with people about stuff like this. Um, that's why I, I, I chose I chose to to do this. Um, it's not something that um, many people are willing to do for free, you know. So um, I think um, it's a good thing that we are all on and we are all going to be committed to it and we are going to make good use of it. Um, so that's a little bit about me. As time goes on, as we build this community and we become a strong family, you get to know more about me and I'll get to know more about you. So um, just, just let me know what, what you are also in. What do you do? What do you do? Just a word or two, just in the in the in the message box. Okay, so I work in healthcare and hit it. Okay. I go to online school. Okay. Wow. You are into writing. I guess that is good. Okay. I'm also a salesperson. Okay. I'm into banking. Mm. That's good. That's good. I'm into I'm a security person. Wow. We have we have we have great people on the call today. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's good. That's good. So Erica, your writing is going to really uh, help you in this business. Um if you really take it serious, it's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot. So um, I love the backgrounds I'm seeing. Mm, I repair cars. Okay, so you are into auto stuff. Okay, a salesperson, salesperson. Okay, adjuster. Okay, uh, bondsman. Oh, wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. I see a lot of people. Retired teacher, health and wellness coach, mm, insurance. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's good. I love it. I love what I'm seeing. And um, I just want you to know that the things you are writing in the chat now are things that you are going to take and make good use of. Yeah, we are going to use it and we are going to take it step by step and we are going to turn it into something good and something beautiful. That's great. I love I love what I'm seeing. So let's look at our agenda for today. What are we going to look at? Today is our first session. So it's not going to be technical and all those stuff. We are going to start yeah, comfortably, slowly, and then uh, get it going. So we'll be looking into introduction to online business. We'll look at types of online business that we have which of course i know most of you do know yeah and then we will look at why many people fail in this industry it is an industry that a lot of people fail believe me i've been there i know it i talk to people and i hear it every day and then we will look at what we need to be able to succeed in this industry. Does our agenda look good? If you agree with this agenda, if you like the agenda for today, just give me a one. Let me know that we are on the same page. Just give me a one. If you don't like it, to give me a two. If you don't like it, give me a two. Say, I don't like the agenda, but I believe it's a good agenda. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 
let us let us yeah one 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 okay one one um, we all love the agenda for today that is good that is good so let let's look at brick and mortar business versus online business so we are all like familiar with brick and mortar businesses where you have the building there and business take place within the building you have a four square like a physical space that business is done in which is the norm the common one that we are all aware or we are all familiar with and then we have the online where we either move part of the brick and mortar onto the internet or we move all the business onto the internet so in this situation you have brick and mortar businesses that are physical sitting there in a location and you can also find that business on the internet so we have these situations and a lot of brick and mortar businesses are moving their businesses online especially this covid what covid 19 has brought to us a lot of people transitioned online during the covid and are still online because of how we were all locked in those who couldn't move online are either out of business or are struggling do you agree do you agree to what i'm saying just just let me know say yes if you agree no if you don't exactly this is something we see every day we see it every day we see it every day and it's going on even you yourself you may be able to identify with it you may be able to identify with it because with what i do for instance during the COVID, even though it was very bad for people um i won't say it was good news but it was good for some of us you know because the the demand to be able to move online was so huge and some of us became very important during the COVID time you know so it's something that has happened something that is going to continue and if you are able to tap into it then you are going to benefit from it big time so that is the current trend the trend is that people are moving online and people need help to move online and people need assistance to stay online and it is really creating opportunities it's really creating opportunities in the industry there are people who need help setting up their online businesses there are people who who are online already but their online presence is not is not doing any good so and um, they need help there are people who want to go online but don't know what to do online and i believe that you and i we are also talking about how we can be online it's an opportunity there it's an opportunity there those of you who write you can go online and start a writing business those who are in health you can do that you know so as we go on we'll be talking about all this so this is very very important for us to know where we are coming from where we are now and where we are going that that doesn't make sense give me a yes if it makes sense you know so and um, we, we are in a period where an opportunity has offered itself out of out of out of bad news we now have good news that all of us can take advantage of and i'm so excited i'm very excited about the opportunities and the and the and the doors that are going to be opening onto people you know so i just want you to hold on tight the decision you've taken 
is very good. It's a powerful decision you've taken, and I want you to hold on to it and make it happen, and make it happen. So let's look at the types of online businesses that we have. These are a few I have identified that um, I myself, I do. So um, it's something that I can identify with. So the first on the list is gig-based business. So gig-based business is where you sell your service for, for money or for a fee. You know, so for, for, for the health coach, for instance, you sell your service of health coaching for a fee. So people pay you a fee and you help them through their health issues. So the one who writes, people pay you to write for them. So for, for, for the one who, who is into sales, you can sell stuff online. So just this morning, I received an email from a lady in China who has a, a business online. She sells wig, like, um, is it wig? Hair extensions, hair extensions. And she want to rank her business on Google search page. She is on like page four. So if somebody Googles her extensions, she is not showing on the first page. And so she sent me an email. If I can put her business on the first page of Google. And I said, why not? I can do that for you. And she said, how much would I charge? I said, I'll charge you 500 bucks. She said, I'll go for it. You know, so right now, I'm going to start working on her website and put it on first page on Google. This is a service that I'm offering for, 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 for a fee. And I do it for people. So I optimize people's website. If you have a website and it's not performing well online, then I'll, I'll go in there and do a few things and, and push it up. So that when somebody enter the, the keyword, your website will come on top. Because the truth is that when people go on Google and do a search, they don't go beyond the first page. Is that true? You yourself you can identify. Is it true that when you go on Google and you type in what you want, you go, you scroll down, 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 down to check? No, the first, the first five or three websites that come, you are going to pick from that one. So website optimization has become a very good business, especially at this time, because a lot of businesses are going online and they want to rank. They want to make sure that their websites are showing on the first page for the keyword that they are working on. You know, so these are things that you can offer. You can offer your service. You can offer your service. You can do DIYs. There are a lot of people who are who are doing DIY videos and making money out of it. And we are going to talk about all this. I'm going to show you how you can do all these things and be able to optimize it and be able to make money out of it. And I'm going to offer you a lot of resources that you can use to do this. And for those of you who are going to take this training seriously, I'm going to also do the optimization myself for you. I'm going to do them for you. So if you are able to create a website, a blog, a landing page, whatever, I will make sure that I optimize it for you. I will create backlinks for your website so that it will rank on Google search. So that is gig base, which, which if you have a scale, you can tap into it. In fact, it is one of the lowest hanging fruits that you can plug or take advantage of. So look at it very well. Look at it very well. Gig-based business. You put your services out there online and say, I can do this for you for a fee. And people contact you and then you charge them for a fee and you offer that service. And then we have affiliate marketing, which has become the most popular 
uh, word word online now. Everybody talks about affiliate marketing. But the truth of the matter is only about 10% of all the people who are doing affiliate marketing are succeeding. That is true. Because a lot of people are doing it wrongly. A lot of people are doing it wrongly. And the, and the, and the, and the worst part is that because they are doing it wrongly, you do it for a while and uh, you see no results. You are burned out. You become frustrated. You become tired and you give up. Meanwhile, you had invested a lot into it already. You see, so affiliate marketing is also one area that you can take advantage of and make good use of it. It's a very good area. And then we have e-commerce. So let me affiliate marketing is where you 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 partner with with a company or a business or a product creator, somebody who has a service or a product the person wants to sell. You partner with the person, you promote it, and when somebody buys that product through you, you get a commission. It doesn't sound very complicated, you know, but it is. It is, you know, and we are going to look at affiliate marketing and see how we can do it and succeed. Then we have e-commerce where you sell products online. You say it could be anything. You sell products. Now there are different types of e-commerce business that we have. We will look at it. E-commerce is an area I also like. So we will take a look at this. For some of you, it will be good for you to do e-commerce. But I wouldn't say rush into it. It's an area that you need to really take it slow and really, really be, be, be very good at what you are doing to venture into e-commerce. Because e-commerce can burn you out instantly. Because you go online, there's a lot of people selling. You know, people are selling everywhere. So if you don't strategically do it, you end up losing big time. So e-commerce is another area where people sell products, people sell services in a certain uh, way on a certain platform. And then we have courses and programs which have become another popular area. Like what we are doing, what we are doing right now, I can sell it. I can sell this for hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. Because what what we are going through now, people are doing um, low-quality ones and selling them at a very good price. So I can sell this one. And with your backgrounds, as I'm reading, you can also create a course and sell. So we will look at all this. We will look at all these businesses and how we can take advantage of and then uh, use them to benefit ourselves and for others. And then we have the software as a service industry. So this is where you create a software. You identify a need in the, in, in the system or in the society, and then you come up with a software and that is able to solve that problem. And once you come up with that software, you become a vendor, you become a developer, and then you sell that software. The only thing I don't like about this area of business is it has become very competitive. It has become so competitive. The disadvantage is that when you come out with a software, the following day, somebody can take your idea, just twist it a little bit and also bring their product into the market and spoil your business. And it's happening. It's happening. A lot of people are frustrated in this area. I talk to a lot of people and they complain. They complain. They complain a lot. So people ask for advice because my background is in law. You know, they want to know what can we do? Like it's it's frustrating. You can see that this thing is my is my idea. This is what I brought out. And somebody picks it and just and just um change the color or something, a process, and then he or she also has another software. You see, so 
I see it every day. There are softwares people are launching every day, which are trash. Some of them are so trash, but they are there. And people buy them. People buy them. So I always tell my students, if you want to buy a software, make sure you check with me first before you spend your money on that. You know, so these are some of the areas that you can you can invest in online. There are businesses you can venture into online and it will be profitable to you. But like I said, the first one, Kickbase, it's a low-hanging fruit that you can plug so easily. Are, are, are we on the same page? Give me a one. I want to be sure you are there. I want to be sure you are there. So that is good. Yes, one, one, one. Okay, one. Yeah, yeah, one. Right. Yeah, you are there. Good, good, good. So we, we, we are communicating. We are communicating. We are communicating. So this time, it, I'm not saying this is exhaustive. There are other things that people are doing online. Um, but I know these ones are legal. You can have a very legal, genuine business online within these fields. Why do many people fail when it comes to online business? The first one is something that we all see or we have experienced it ourselves following the wrong guru. So this is how it happens. You see an advert on online with this person talking and making some very beautiful presentation and saying some nice things about what he's doing and how he can teach you to become a pro and all that and, and tell you that it is so easy. It's so easy. Just just pick the affiliate link and paste it on social media and you are there. So I, I have come up with a course. This course is a, I'm going to be behind you and take you through and make sure you succeed. And then you go and buy the course. And then you start going through the course and then you end up realizing, what are they talking about? This is a, a lot more confusing than I imagined. Can, can we identify with it? Have we seen this happening before? Just give me a yes if you have, if you have seen it before, if you've heard it before, if you've experienced it before. I see it every day. I see it every day. Someone said, yes, too much, too much. Yes, yes, I can't, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how bad it is. Unfortunately, yes, I am going through one right now. Oh my God, that is what I'm talking about. And so when you do, you buy the course, you go through it halfway and you don't see any results, you become frustrated. And you know some of the words they will use, so you don't need to, to invest any money and you just just paste it on social media. But you see the advert that you saw about that guru wasn't something he or she pasted on social media. He or she did advert, paid for it to make sure that you see it. I am on social media a lot so i see this happening you see somebody put their nice nice advertising post it make a post on social media and expect people to respond to the advert and then you see people pasting their also their advert in the comment they are also using your your ad to promote this it is so annoying it's so annoying, but it is happening. It's happening. So that is one way people are failing. They follow the wrong guru who is going to give you sweet talk, tell you all the nice things, and at the end of the day, you realize that it is not that easy. It is not that easy. Secondly, some of us go into 
online business with the wrong expectations because they see they see this advert and then you hear them saying the laptop lifestyle oh you just you just work on your laptop and you you rest you go to the beach and enjoy you can do the business from anywhere at a beach on your vacation they even call it vacation you know you are vacationing but you are working you know and it's so so people see all those things people with the lamborghinis and the big houses that they just go and stand by to take the video and then rent it to the lamborghinis and those things and then they put it online and you see it and then you say oh Oh damn! This is this is not this is not so difficult. I can get it. I can do it. It is true you can do it, but I see the expectation that you are going in their way. It's going to burn you out, because believe me, ninety percent of the things that you see about those people, they are not true. They are not true. If it is that easy, everybody will be a lawyer by now. You get it. So people fail because they go into online business with the wrong expectations. And then we have the shiny object syndrome. This is where people see one thing trending and then they jump onto it. Oh, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The person, you do it like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you are not seeing any results. And then you see another another thing trending you jump onto that one and then you start that one two two three weeks four weeks you don't see anything then you see another thing going on trending then you jump onto it everything that is shining they jump onto it so there is no consistency there is no focus and if you if you don't have that consistency and focus when it comes to online business you are going to fail you are going to fail so these are some of the reasons why people fail online. There are a lot of reasons. There are a lot of reasons. There are people who are lazy, and so they will fail. There are people who don't want to invest anything, any, any money or time into it. It's a business. It's a business. I want you, you see, I want you to have an objective. I want you to see what we are talking about. As a business, as a business, I don't, I don't know any successful business that that has become successful without investing money, time, and sacrificing their 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 pleasure, sacrificing their comfort. Those who have succeeded online. Have sacrificed a lot. They have sacrificed a lot. And I just want you to be serious about what we are doing. Like I said, I can sell this course for thousand dollars easily. Because what I'm going to show you and what we are going to do. People are doing less than and are charging money for it. But I have seen a lot of people struggling when it comes to online business that I feel like it's a duty for me to help because I've been there. I've been there. You know, so I know what it feels like to try doing affiliate marketing or starting your own online business and not succeeding. It's very, very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. And so I want you to take this seriously. And if you take it seriously, by the time we finish this, you will be in a position to smile. In fact, my vision for this course is that somewhere in the middle of the, of the training, you should be able to also help others. So I want to help you to help others. And so let us let us take this seriously because I'm really I'm really committing a lot of time into this. 
And it will be very sad that after investing my time and you investing your time, we don't see any results. It will be very frustrating. So I want you to take this seriously, commit all you can. In fact, I'm making a lot of sacrifices and, and, and stuff available to you so that you succeed. And I'll be very proud and very happy to see you succeed in this area. At least you'll be able to also help somebody for free or for a fee. You know, so are we on the same page? Do we do we like the direction we are going? Just give me a yes if you are there. Give me a yes if there is something that you really want to commit to. If you really want to commit to it, just give me a yes. Say, I'm in. I'm in hundred percent. I'm in. I'm in. Yes, 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 yes. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. I'm also in. I'm also in. I'm also in. And we are going to make it. We are going to make it. So what do you need to succeed when it comes to online business? What do you need? For me, I believe that the first and foremost is being able to choose the right niche for you. When you are able to choose the right area, it's a first step to succeeding. The first step to succeeding. There are people who think they can do, the, oh, um, yeah, I like this area. I, I love to do this. But it is not something they are passionate about. They don't, they don't really love it, but they have seen that, oh, people are making money in that area. So they are like, okay, I also want to go into that area. No. You want to choose a niche where when you are even asleep and somebody wakes you up and asks you about it, you can easily, you can easily help the person. If you choose the right niche, it helps you to offer the help. One thing I want you to know that anytime somebody swipes their credit card, somebody else gets paid. That's the truth. Anytime somebody swipes their credit card or writes a check, somebody else gets paid. Is that going to be you? Or are you going to be the one always swiping the card and writing the check? Which one are you? Just tell me in the chat. Which one are you? You want to be the one getting paid or you want to be the one paying? Of course, I want to be paid. Okay. I want to be paid. I want to be paid. The one being paid. The one being paid. Yeah. We all want to be paid. We all want to be paid. We want to be the one getting paid. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah. I agree with you. I want to be paid. I want to be paid. We all want to be paid. You know, so we are going to do the things that will get us paid. And you can do it. You can do it. I know you may have experienced failure doing this for a long time. That is okay. That is okay. That's okay. I was talking to a friend that um, also through online this thing. We have become friends. He was telling me, you know, I'm like, it's okay. We'll get there. You'll do it. We can do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Erica, show me the cash. Cash is king. Yeah. So we will do it. But you need to identify the niche. Which area are you so comfortable with? What area are you? If you have been a teacher or a health coach, it's a, it's a niche for you because you have done it so long. You have become an expert in that area. So it's an area you can really take advantage of. You are a writer. 
these days people are paying premium money for writing for scripts for script people are paying 100 for two page four page scripts and i'm going to show you how to do that how to take advantage of that i'll show you how to use your writing to make the big bucks i'm going to show you it's not magic you know it's not magic but you just have to do things right and you need to be very strategic about what you are doing a lady a lady just um last week last week contacted me and it's like and before the covid um she was she was providing assistance like she's a personal assistant uh, to people so if you need somebody to schedule your your meetings and do all those things for you she's the go-to lady but she she's captured an area somewhere in chicago and she was doing good until the covid hit it really affected their business she has a web page all right you know but since after the covid now she doesn't show you go you go to google and search you don't even see her again some people have overtaken her and she's like what do i need to do i want to get back i went to her website and read it and i realized wow this is this is good she's now her own boss people give her their uh, their keys to their homes she does all these things for the people she's built trust and now she wants to get back on top so she wants me to put her back on top and i'm like no problem i'll put you back on top you know so there are a lot of things that we can do but we need to identify the niche that we are good in apart from choosing the niche after you have chosen your niche you need to be able to brand yourself branding you need to be able to brand yourself put yourself out there in front of the people you need to create eyeballs on you so that people can easily find you when they need you and to do that you need to have a website i have heard people say oh you can do this business without a website okay it is true you can do it without a website but believe me believe me the time and effort that is going to take you to succeed without a website uh, to be crazy you need to be able to have a website with your brand on it okay so i'm reading in the chat somebody um erica is saying i have been researching for 20 years i'm great at finding the cheapest price for many products there you are there you are you can become the middle the middle lady for everything this is a brand that you can promote this is a niche that you can build a whole business around you know so you need to you need to have a domain name your website you need to have a system to create a website i'm going to show you how to create a website that you don't have to hire anybody to do it for you of course if you want to hire somebody that is good you can even hire me to do it for you just kidding i'm going to show you how to design website for yourself i'm going to show you if you are going to do affiliate marketing you need a landing page at least minimum you need a landing page people say oh you just copy the the affiliate link and go and post it gone were the days when those things were be done today if you go and post your affiliate link even on facebook facebook might even end up banning you from coming to facebook and there are a lot of companies that if you want to partner and promote their product they want to see your website and not only your website they want to see how active your website is because they also want to make profit so if you are going to just promote them and they don't know like nobody you are not going to refer anybody to them 
they are not going to allow you. So nowadays, businesses, they approve people to be part of the affiliate marketing programs. And so you need to make sure that you have a domain name, a, 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 a nice, simple website that puts you out there as a professional. So you need to come up with a name that will represent your brand. That will represent your brand. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. And you need a system that will be able to help you create as many websites as possible. And so I'm going to introduce you to it. I use, I use um, Bluehost. I will put the link in the in the chat for you. I use Bluehost. It gives me opportunity to create unlimited websites. And that is what you need. That's not alone. You need to have a system to be able to get the contact of people. So you need to have an email system that will help you to be able to get all these things going. So it is very, very important. You want to put yourself out there and you need to do it well. You need to do it well. For some of you, you have powerful ideas, but the ideas sitting in your mind it's not going to translate into anything. You need to bring it into fruition. Make it alive. Bring it out there for people to see. I was chatting with a friend who is even on the on the on the call today, and and I saw her email. She says that um, money magnet matters. I'm like, wow, this is this is something that you can package it can package it. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it has all those words in it. And these are key words that you can you can you can make good. You can optimize it to become so good to put you out there. So believe me, it's going to I hear you Eric, I hear you. I know it's difficult. It's difficult. People have tried, but we are going to do it. We are going to do it here. We are going to do it. We are going to do it. So we will create it. Apart from this, apart from this uh, classes that we are having, which we are going to have weekly, I'm going to give you a link to my appointment schedule system where you can book an appointment, one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. And so when you book the appointment, then we can sit down and look at what you are doing. We can see what you are doing and then where I need to support you, direct you, we will do that. So that one, we go face to face and then you share your screen, I look at it, what you are doing, they say, do it this way, don't do it that way. We do it step by step, step by step, and then you do it. So we will do it. We will do it. Believe me, we will do it. You know, so you need to make sure. They, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you what I use because we are going to do it together. What I use that works for me it's what I'm introducing to you so that when we are going through it, it will be easier for both of us. So you need, you need a domain name and you need a hosting um, a system, which Bluehost to me is good, is best. I haven't had any problem with it. And so take a look at it. Um, I'm hoping that if you don't already if you don't already have a domain name or a hosting program, look at it. 
and see which one is good for you, but get the one with the unlimited website so that we can create websites anytime. We can create any subdomain that we want. So take a look at it. If you have, you already have it, we will take a look at it and see how we can make it work. I don't know the system you are you are using already, but believe me, it's possible to make everything work. You know, so when I put the link to the appointment, just look at the availability that I've put there. Look at the one that will work for you. And then let's book appointment. Let's look. Let's do something. I want us to do it instead of talking. Talking is good. We are talking now. But after the talking, we need to do something. If we come and we only talk and talk and talk and we don't do anything, we are not going to achieve anything. So please, please, please make sure that you take this serious and then take advantage of me. Yes, you heard me. Take advantage of me. If you have any issue, you can send me a test. I'll put my phone number in there. You can send me a test message. I prefer test messages than calling. You know, so if you call at times, I may not be able to pick it because at times I'm very busy. So, but when you send a test message and you 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 let me know you are part of this group, I'll respond immediately. I'll respond immediately. So take advantage of me. Apart from the website, you need an emailing system, a system that can can take your can take emails from the people that you are you are interacting with, you are dealing with, you want to market to, because if you don't get those emails, it becomes difficult to follow up. I'm sure you receive emails every day from people who are trying to introduce you to something, to, trying to give you something, trying to sell you something. Those emails, you need them. And what I use is get response. I use get response. It works for me perfectly. I've not had any issues with it. Get response is very good for me. Right now, even get response is what I'm using for this presentation. Yeah. Get response, they have a lot of a lot of features that you can use and they are good. I'll put the link in the chat. Check it out. You can try it for 30 days and then see the things you can do with it. If you are very serious, even that 30 days before it ends, you should have seen results. You can use get respond to build a funnel. I'm going to show you what funnels are and how they work. I'll show you everything. You can use it to create your newsletters, everything that you want to do when it comes to email marketing, you can use it for it. So these two things are very, very important that you need. You need them. Apart from that, right now, everything is moving on to social media and all that. So if you are not on social media, you need to be. And I will, I'm going to show you how to use social media profitably. There are people who are on Facebook every day, but they are not benefiting from Facebook. There are people who are on WhatsApp every day, but they are not benefiting from WhatsApp. There are people who are on TikTok every day, but they are not making any profit from TikTok. There are people who are on YouTube watching all the videos on YouTube, but nobody is watching their video on YouTube. We are going to go into all this. I call them the building blocks. You see, if you have a very good foundation, you can build any kind of structure on it. So you need a good foundation. 
if you get the foundation right, you are good to go. By a lot of people, their foundations are bad. And so anytime they try to build on it, it crumbles. But we are going to get the foundation right. So these two things, I need you to do them this week for me before we meet next week so that we can launch into it. Get yourself a name. If you, if you are not sure how to create a name, book an appointment with me. Let us go. In. I, will, I will take you to step by step how to come up with, with names that, that sticks. So don't hesitate. I mean, I want us to do this and to do it well and succeed. So don't hesitate. Don't feel bad. Take advantage of me, like I'm saying. Take advantage of me, and then let us do it. So I'm putting the link for the appointment. You can book an appointment with me. Just go ahead, find the day that suits you on my availability, and then let's do it. I've opened some days, making some time available so that I can I can meet you one on one and be able to do something. I want to see you do it. I want to see you do it. So that is very, very important to me. I just don't want us to, to be talking and talking and talking and talking and not doing anything. And like I said, if you take this thing serious and I see that you are serious with it, I will spend my money to, to optimize your website for you. I will boost you up. I will put you on top of Google. I will do that for you for free. I just charged somebody $500 today, there's some money, to do the same thing for them. But I will do it for you for free. You see, so take advantage of me. Use it and benefit from it. I don't know how to say it clearer. You know, so please, please, make good use of this opportunity. I talk to people and you can see frustration in their voices because they've done all things and it never worked. We are going to make it work. If you are serious, we are going to make it work. So these two things, I need you to get them ready create an account with uh, get response and sign up for a plan on on bluehost and then we are going to go into it and then start creating and don't worry i'm going to give you the resources you need to be able to do it i'll give them to you i'll give them to you so that's how we are going to brand ourselves. We are going to get ourselves out there on the internet. We are going to put our business out there on the internet. We are going to brand ourselves. And by doing that, we are going to invest in the basic tools, which I've given you two today. You need to be ready to invest into that. That is going to be your investment, your commitment to it, that I'm ready to take it all along. And not only that, when you have invested in those things, you don't go and sleep. You need to take the learning seriously because we are going to learn strategically. We are going to learn strategically how to take advantage of things and how to turn the difficult things into easy stuff. We are going to make it easy so that you can do it. We will take it piece by piece by piece by piece. And then we do it. We look at the results. And if we don't like it, we polish it, we tweak it, we make it happen. And then we are going to build a community around our brand. And I'm going to show you how to build a community around your brand. How to get people to buy into your brand.
because if you build the brand and it's so powerful, it's all that you can talk about and nobody buys into it, it's going to be a white elephant. Do you agree with me? Give me a yes if you agree with what I'm saying. If you agree with what I'm saying, give me a yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's true. Yes, you have said it all. Of course. Of course. Because it's there. It's, this is the reality. I've seen it every day. I see it every day. So let us take advantage of this. Things like this doesn't always come free like it. So let us take advantage of it. Let us make it happen. You are, give yourself two or three weeks. You are going to build something. You are going to be online. You are going to have something that you are selling. And I'll be showing you how to take advantage of resources and using them for your advantage. There are so many things you can do that you don't have to be an expert in, but you can do it. Because there are ways to do it. And so we are going to do this. And I want to see you committed to it. I want to see you committed to it. If you have a question you want to ask now about all the things I've said today, you can put it in the chat box and um, we'll look at it. If I can answer it, I'll answer it. If not, we can book an appointment and look at it. You know, so today, I don't know if we have been able to go through go through the agenda. I don't know if we were able to do that. We, we did the introduction. We looked at the types of online business. We looked at why people fail. And we looked at how, what we need to be able to succeed. So I think we did good with our agenda. Does this make sense? Everything I've said. Is this something you can identify with? Am I, am I speaking something that you are familiar with? Just give me a yes. If, if what I'm saying makes sense, you can identify with it. If it is too abstract, to let me know. I don't want any abstract thing. I don't want anything to be abstract. I want it to be real. I want it to be something that you can identify with and we can work with it together. So just let me know. Put it in the chat. Tell me what you said makes sense. It doesn't make sense. I want to know. I want to know so that we can work around it. If it doesn't make sense, we'll find a way to make it to make sense. If what I've said is too complicated, let me know so that I can work around it. I always like to make it look doable because it is doable. And we will do it. We will do it. We will take our time and do it. You see, the beauty is that when, when you are able to do it, you feel good. You just forget about the money part. When you are able to do it, you feel good. You feel something good within you. So there, there, there is this guy that I was, I was helping with online stuff. He, he, he was so confused. It's like, I, I, I don't know how to describe his level. And he booked an appointment and we were on, we were on Zoom doing it one-on-one. -on -one. And then the wife came and sat by and sat by him. And as we went through it, the wife was sitting there and it's like, yeah, I get what you are saying. And then the husband is, you do? He was like, yeah. You sure you do? Say, yeah, I understand what he's saying. The husband is like, um, I still don't get it. Then the wife was like, 
you are terrible. You are terrible than me, you know. But we will make it not to be terrible. We will make sure that you do it. That's my agenda. I want to see you do it so that you can help somebody to also do it. Is it a good agreement? Is it something that you are willing to, to, to do? That I'm going to help you do it, then you can help somebody do it. Are you willing to also help somebody do it? Are you just give me a yes, I'm willing to help somebody do it. I'm going to help somebody. Just put it there. I will help somebody. Yes, I will. I will. If I if I get to know it, I will help somebody. Yes, you will get to know it. You will get to know it. I'm willing to help. I will, of course, help. Why won't I? Okay, yes. Once you can do it, you know the, the, the reason why we are not able to help people is you yourself, you are not confident that you are doing the right thing. So it becomes difficult for you to go telling people that you can help them. But if you can help, you can do it and you do it and you see that it is good, it feels good, you want to help somebody. And that is what I want us to do. And we are going to do it. So we have an appointment next week. The same time, I've blocked this, this time, Fridays, 5 p.m. Eastern time. I've blocked it on my calendar for you. So don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. If you know somebody else that you think the person needs to, to learn, invite the person. Let the person also come and learn. Bring them, as many people you can. I want to see those who will be able to invite people to come on. Let us invite people. Let us add people to it. Let's bring people, our friends, the people we work with, that we, you've been talking about this with. Invite them. Are, are you going to invite somebody next week? Yes or no? Yes, no. Are you going to invite somebody to come and be part of this? Are you going to invite somebody? I will invite some people. Well, good, good, good. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I have three, I will. Good. Ask them. Invite them. Let them come. Let us learn together and let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take advantage of the internet and do it. Let's do it. Wonderful. Is there anything left unsaid? I like this statement so much. At times... When you are in a meeting, you are in training like this, there are a lot of talks, and then something will be left unsaid that need to be said. Is there something that need to be said on the agenda that we, we didn't say? You can put it in the chat. But I'm going to be sending you resources that you will need. You need to start creating a vault for yourself where you are going to put your resources. You need stuff. You need resources to be able to do this business. And I'll be giving you as many as I can. I will give you, I will introduce you to resources that will help you. Um, you look at them, save them, download them, keep them in a folder. You go back to them and then um, you use them as and when you, 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 you want to use them. So just look out for my emails. Make sure that you whitelist the email that I've been sending you. Whitelist it. Make sure that anytime I send an email, you get it. Those of you that I have your phone numbers to, I'll be sending you a text message. Okay, one thing that is left unsaid or undone. Um, supposed to give you my phone number. So I'm giving you my phone number. I'm putting it in the chat. You can test me on this. Send me a test message. This is my test message number. Send me a test message. And then um, we'll take it from there. Just let me know you are part of this training. And then I'll respond immediately. You know, I get a lot of messages. So at times it becomes very very um difficult tracking them 
But if I see it and I know how to deal with it immediately, then I can deal with it immediately. So please, I think um, we have done enough for today. We are a little over one hour, um, which is not bad. But we'll be going into details from next week. Don't miss it. And if you have any question, just send me a test and let us talk about it. So if there's nothing left unsaid, you have my phone number, my test message number. You have the links that I have sent to you. Go there and get your package ready. Um, when you get it, don't do anything. Just sign up and then let's wait for the next thing. I don't want you to rush into anything. Don't rush to do anything. If even you know what you think you are doing, just don't do it. I've seen people, say, oh, I, what he's saying, I know. And then they will go ahead and do it and then mess it up. And then that will be another. Don't do anything. Just get your accounts ready. And then we will take it from there. Thank you so much. I'll see you um, next week. But look out for my messages. Um, have a great evening.